I did not see this anywhere on YouTube, so I decided to record it. It's my presence that I can help create those new possibilities and those new avenues for us to have relief, have some kind of closure to this very, very important issue that has been crippling me in my own life for many years. Uh, I've heard many people here say that they've been coming here for 10 years to try and get this bill passed. Uh, well, speaking of the Me Too movement and where it all began, I will be the first to say my journey began 30 years ago. 30 years ago when I first told the police about what happened to me as a child. 30 years ago when I first told the police that my best friend was raped as a child and had never gotten his life back. And because of that, as a result of that, his life was tarnished and traumatized to the point where he ended up taking his own life. At the early age of 38, due to the trauma caused to him because of selfish child predators. Let me tell you, there is no way to get that life back. We cannot bring it back from a bill. We cannot bring it back from creating legislation. But we today can stand together in the face of this atrocity and we can work together as one to protect the children of our future. We must preserve innocence. We must preserve the innocence of our child, of our children. And let me say one other thing. People want to make this a party issue. I've been saying this since the beginning. I don't believe it's a party issue. I'm not coming after you, Senator Flanagan. I'm not coming after you and saying this is all your fault. I'm sure you're a good man. I'm sure that you have a child of your own, or you have relatives with children, you have children in your family. Think about those children being touched and abused and affected by a predator. And how would you feel if you knew that you had the opportunity to pass this legislation and protect that child's future, but you failed because you wanted to make a political stance at the wrong time?